The last time I played with Bella, we took a little trip to Vacation Island, a little solo trip, because Bella is a single woman and a solo traveler. The maid was supposed to keep everything in check while we were away. I can see that one of our plants needs watering, so we'll do that when we get up. And I'm assuming we have to go to work 8 p.m. We go to work. So we're probably gonna have to go to work today. The dog is still sniffing around our bed. Oh, the phone, the phone is going. Get up, answer the phone. Do it now, do it now. Losing a friend. Oh no, not him. Lee Christopher, Edia Polynoratoriok. That's a name. We have some history with him when we tried to date him quite unsuccessfully. I don't know if we still want to be friends with him, to be honest. Lee Christopher is a good friend. He has a kind heart and likes to see the best in people. Um, that was like not our experience, to be honest. The carpool will arrive in an hour. Oh my God. Okay, we need to get up, get up, get up, get up. That dog is still in our bedroom. Can I help you with something, my darling? The carpool is here and we're just having a bath. So if you could just hold your horses, that would be appreciated. Okay, I think we're gonna just have to go. The phone is ringing again, but we do not have to, we have to go to work. We're going to miss the car. We are going to miss the car. Oh my God, go get in the car, get in the car. I'm sorry you're hungry, Bella. I'm sorry, but it's the way that it is. I bet that second phone call was like, you've won 3000 simoleons and we just missed it. Well, the dog seems to have left our bedroom at last. So that's good. So we're back from work. Not in a great mood. Let's cook up some breakfast quickly. Her performance is only average, I'm assuming because we haven't been going in a great mood, but it is the first day back after vacation, so I can hardly blame her to be honest. So we need to work on a creativity skill point for our next promotion, but I really think we should focus on our needs for a bit because we still need a bit of self-care even when we're at home. And sometimes you don't wanna work on your skill points, you wanna, I don't know, watch TV. Although Bella never seems to like any of the channels. Like if we switch to cartoons. Okay, she didn't say anything about that. But she usually goes, uh, uh-uh, like very unimpressed. We should also feed the fish. I assumed that the maid would take care of that, but you can never be too sure with the maid. We need to water this plant that is dying. Yeah, she just went, ugh. Well, I'm sorry it's not to your liking, Bella, but I don't know what other entertainment we have. I think we're gonna go back to bed now. I just realized we are well and truly not in love with Bill Thomas anymore, our former flame, and we're not even friends. So, and actually, we're probably gonna lose Lee Christopher as a friend completely today. Now Bella is trying to get up, but she doesn't seem to be able to because we have some pets blocking the way. Okay, we're getting up. I think we're getting up. Let's make a little bite of early dinner. Lost friend. Lee Christopher Idia Polynoria Toriok is no longer a family friend. Cry me a river. I wonder if we'll have a little bit of time to work on our creative skill just before work. Although the carpool is coming quite shortly, so I don't think we're gonna have time. Yeah, we, we don't have time. Let's just paint for a few minutes just to maybe see that fun go up a little bit before we get in the car. Okay, I think we should go. Paint brushes down. There's an El Bandito here, but we can't do anything about that because we're not here. So you can go through my trash all you like. And off he goes again. Well, I think we'll just have a little cat nap and then we're gonna go out and explore the world a bit because it's time to meet some new Sims, I think. Now, should we go downtown or should we go to Old Town? I kind of feel like going downtown again. Our taxi's here, we're gonna go downtown. Look at all the trash. Hopefully the maid is gonna deal with that because we're heading out, so priorities. Okay, how about a nice stroll in the Crumple Bottom Memorial Park? I think it could be fun. Here we are in our pajamas. We'll start with a nice morning hot dog, I think, because we didn't have any breakfast, I just realized. There is Victoria Hazel. She is quite a glamorous, classy lady. The exact kind of person I think Bella would be friends with. Bill Thomas, what are you doing here? I do not care for you, it's over between us. 
Ah, oh, Chris. I think she's our closest friend. We like her. We seem to have quite a bit in common with Victoria Hazel, which would make sense, considering she is quite a glamorous lady. And I believe she's currently living in the house on the hill, so that must be very aspirational for Bella. No, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I could really see Bella in the house on the hill. I could only really see her in the goth house. Let's try a compliment. Yes, I love your hat. It's absolutely stunning. It is a very nice hat. I'm going to ask her to hang out, see if she wants to hang out with us. Good, she wants to hang out. Let's try renting a boat. This might be quite a romantic activity to do, and Bella isn't currently looking for love, but... Oh no, it's glitching, it's not working. Rental Shack Jack, get it together. Okay, is it working that time? Come join. Is she gonna join? Victoria, we're heading over this way, my love. Come on. Don't you wanna sail boats with us? Michael Batchelor and Bob Newby are also there. And there's Mama Hick. Oh, I love Mama Hick. Oh, she's hungry? Okay, we'll get another hot dog in a minute. Buy hot dogs, 30 simoleons. Okay, we got it. Okay, she's getting annoyed. Okay, 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 I got it. We're gonna go get food now. I mean, given that it's Victoria Hazel, maybe we should have taken her to a classy restaurant, but... Maybe she just wants to let her hair down and chill out in the park. I mean, she was here as well. Like, we didn't invite her here. She came here of her own will. I think we'll socialize a little bit more and see if we can find out a bit more about her. Oh, she likes our jokes. Does that mean she's unemployed? I think it does. Yay, a new friend. It's all about the people you hang out with, I think, Bella. You don't need the Lee Christophers of the world. You need the Victoria Hazels. Did we just lose the friend and make it again straight away? Basically, all their interests seem to be aligning. They're hardly ever disagreeing. Say goodbye, wave. Let's see what she says. That was really fun. Let's get together again soon. You know what? Yes, Victoria, let's. That was a really successful time. Okay, off we go. Back home, I think. The car is all the way up here. All the way up here. So we're back. We're gonna have to eat again. Those hot dogs are not particularly filling, even though Bella had two of them. The maid is here. Yes. Did you clear up the mess? No, you did not clear up the mess by the side of the road. Kindly do that. Why is she walking up and down the hill? Just standing by the edge of the lot. Okay, she's gone. Now we're going to get our needs up and hopefully focus on our creativity skill today because we've got a bit of time before work. Bridget, get out. Right, we'll come back. We'll have the bath later because the maid so desperately needed to clean something in there. Yeah, the point is going to go up quite slowly because it's like the sixth point. So it starts to get a bit more difficult. Maybe we'll do it before we have to go to work. I don't think so. We should probably take a nap again because we're getting really tired. Did she clean up the mess by... Yes, she did. Okay. <laughs> I'm not paying you to leave trash all over my property. Thank you. Okay. Let's sell the painting. See how much that sells for. Eight simoleons. Yay. Can't wait to spend that. We're going to paint a little bit more and then she's going to be so tired. I think we're going to have to take a nap. But then if we take a nap, we're not going to be able to get the skill point. But then if we don't take a nap, we're going to go in a bad mood, so we definitely won't get promoted. What's it going to be? Okay, we've got the skill points, so we're going to take a nap. Come on, quick, 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 quick. We still didn't manage to have a bath yet. Let's get up now and take a bath before work. Oh, the car is already here. Is there going to be any time? Have we got time? What we really need is a shower. It'd be so much quicker. She's gonna miss the car, she's gonna miss, she, don't miss it, don't dare miss it. Okay, she's going. So we're back from work, no promotion, but that isn't that surprising considering her job performance, which is not great. I predict that we have some bills that need paying by the looks of the mailbox, so we'll have to do that today. I was thinking in the name of our successful socialization with Victoria yesterday, it might be nice if we tried to host some kind of party and get some more Sims over to our house just to increase our possibilities of making new friends. 
Fantastic, my favorite. The fire. The fire alarm is working. Fret not. Dog, stay away from the fire. Last time there was a fire here, a dog died, and I don't want that to happen again. Oh, you poor dog, Fifi. You didn't need to see that. But you should have gone outside. Poor thing. Okay, have lunch. Take two. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about having some kind of party and opening up more social opportunities for Bella. But also, I feel like there would just be something quite exciting about being invited to a party at Bella's house. Like, I want Bella Goth to be the sim that, not necessarily that everybody knows, but that you're kind of honoured to know if you do know her. I feel like she's been a bit, like, I don't know, down in the dumps or struggling or maybe a bit desperate to try and move on since she's been on her own. But I don't think she needs to feel that way. I mean, it's valid to feel that way, but I don't think she gives herself enough credit. People know who she is. Like, we do know lots of people. Look at all these people we know. We know so many people. I think we could maybe utilize Cassandra's old room, which obviously the staircase is no longer there and the room has been left mostly intact. It's something slightly creepy the way the doll's house and the toy box are there, but the bed isn't there. I guess we could put the staircase back and maybe reimagine this room as some kind of party room. Is that a bit dark, turning your deceased child's room into a party room? I don't know, why not? Let's go for a more modern staircase. The Cloud Nine is built for Sims moving up in the world. That sounds like Bella. Let's just move the phone away. Let's put the phone there. The toy box and the doll's house. I'll just put them outside for now. Now upstairs, I think we could get a little stereo and perhaps some other like party bits and pieces. Let's get a fancy feet cake treat because they're excellent for parties. And how about like a buffet table? That would be good. Then we don't have to cook all the food. Where's the buffet table? Buffet table and a punch bowl. I love a punch bowl. Let's get a little end table and a punch bowl. I think that will do for now. We could redecorate everything more dramatically, but I want to keep, you know, the feel of the house. So we're not going to do that now. This is just for our upcoming party. Oh, I left the bookcase outside. Let's put that in there as well. Let's put the bookcase in here. Let's put the one charger up here as well. There we go. So there's still space for everything. And I think I left Cassandra's toys outside, but you know what? Let's put them in the graveyard because that's where Cassandra's body is. So it makes sense to reunite them with her spirit. Let's throw a party and see who comes. Hey, thanks for the invite. Sounds great. I'll be right over with some friends. If you call some more people, we can have a really big bash. That sounds like an excellent plan. Let's turn the music on and let's fill the punch bowl. Oh, who have we got? Oh my gosh, <gasps> Victoria's here, my fave. Not Cornelia Goth, the ex-mother-in-law. What is she doing here? Okay, we're gonna just talk to some of you guys. Is the music on? Yes, let's switch to rock music. Kenny, Brad, I don't know who Kenny is. Benedict, I don't know who that is. Are they all going upstairs for the punch bowl? Let me fill the table as well. I wonder if our house is a bit small though. Everybody's getting stuck. Okay, now we're drinking the punch. The music is playing. How long before the mime turns up? I give it half an hour. Okay, we're filling the table with food, so there'll be something to eat. <gasps> the cobble will arrive. Um, can I just like skip work? I think I'm gonna skip work. 100 simoleons to fill the buffet table. Oh dear. We're gonna get into money problems again. The mime is here. I'm so surprised because our party is so good. She cannot seem to get to the stereo to turn to change the music. Everybody's just standing around. Why are you guys standing around? Come on. Okay, we're gonna eat anyway. If you guys don't wanna eat, that's fine, but we're gonna eat. Nobody can get to anything. This was such a bad idea. I really didn't think this through. Okay, let's try a drink of punch. Okay, everyone's eating, that's good. Honestly, the mime's not even gonna be able to get up here. Even the mime is stuck. Okay, the carpool is here, but I feel like we're not gonna make it somehow. After all, we are stuck in our second floor party room. Let's cheer up Victoria, she looks a little bit glum. There's just no space to move around. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move all of the food stuff outside. So we have a bit more room up here. 
Cheer up, Victoria. You're at the best party in town, obviously. Okay, we're now dancing together with Benedict. He is our type. Look at that suit. Is the mime helping himself to our punch? How disrespectful. Oh, Anita, were you trying to say unkind things to me to my new friend Victoria? That's not going to work because you're rude. Also, this girl here with her puppet. Go away. She doesn't like you. Bye bye. Can we dance with Benedict again? Oh, the ghosts are here. Maybe this will make it a party. Oh, Cassandra. Oh no, that's Bratty. There's Cassandra, right by her old toy box. She really said, what are you doing in my bedroom having fun when I'm no longer here to enjoy it with you? Maybe all the guests will just leave because they'll get scared from the ghosts. Benedict is drinking punch, so we're gonna come drink with him. And what about you, Kenny? Come have some punch with us. Okay, people are leaving. There's Cassandra. Do you want some punch, Cassandra? No, you're underage. Cassandra, don't you dare scare Benedict. That's shockingly rude. You've scared him away. I think everyone's leaving. I mean, I probably would now as well with the, with the ghosts and everything coming out. Bella's getting a little bit tired. It's too late. See you another time. Bye. Okay, bye. I'll call you. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. This party was not a complete flop because we did get to meet some new Sims and we definitely got out of our comfort zone a little bit. I think that's important for Bella as a single woman. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave links to the other videos I've made with Bella Goth before this one if you wanna check them out. And I will see you in another video really soon. Bye.